Hello friends, this is Omit from Magnet and today we are going to learn how to set up a 360 degree environment map for Element 3D or you can say 360 degree sky. So as you see in this video, we have a seamless environment for this scene and you can see I rotate my camera to 360 degree but you can't see any seam in this uh, video. It's all look nice. So basically in this tutorial or you can say it's a tips video for element 3d so we can use a uh, hdri map for to create this uh, environment but we not only just put it into a environment map channel and just enable the environment so we can see this but we do some little bit more work to make it more realistic so before we start i recently upload a video into my channel if you not watched it yet i recommend you to please go and check this out because in this video i use the same technique to create this environment so it look nice and if, if you see in this it is a very wide angle shot that i took for this scene and you can see it the the sky is looks so amazing so i recommend you to first you go to check this video so you can understand what we will the result will be when we use this technique for element 3d or any kind of video you made in element 3d so let's get started so first create a new composition and create a new solid and hit ok and in this solid we're going to apply element and go to the scene setup so now we create a ground plane first so that is our ground plane and scale that up and in this ground plane we would uh, apply some texture I apply this texture and also to go to the glossiness and select that and also make it a little tight and copy that and paste it here and go to the normal pump as well and select this normal map and now we repeat the texture value to maybe 20 by 20 okay so it look uh, nice for now and now we create, uh, use an environment map so go to the environment and maybe select uh, that environment and hit ok and if we just click ok and now we create a camera and select the camera tool and here and go to the element layer and go to the render setting go to the physical environment and if we just turn on this yes we get our environment map and it also 360 degree but uh, there is a problem because if we pan the camera like this or maybe dolly the camera or the camera the ground plane interacts but not the environment so that is the problem here so we have to fix this issue so go to the scene setup so we have our environment that's good but we need a 360 degree environment that can also interact with the camera movement so in order to do this we create a spare and we drag this pair out from the group and place it to group number five and in this pair we going to apply the environment texture so go to the diffuse layer and select that environment map and hit ok and go to the illumination channel and check this box that use diffuse color and illumination intensity to 100 percent okay and also go to the diffuse diffuse color just uh, turn it off by making it zero and we also make this pair uh, and also we scale that up to maybe 10,000 
and now we can't see anything because we are inside the sphere so in order to visible it go to the texture settings again and go to the settings tab and check this box that is the draw back face okay so now we can see our 360 degree environment and we also do some changes here that is the visible to reflection unchecked it cast shadow unchecked it and receive shadow as well unchecked and AO mode that uh, AO mode we ignore that okay so now if we hit ok we can see our 360 degree environment map as well as if if we pan our camera dolly our camera like this we can see our environment also interact so that is the trick behind 360 degree environment map so now if we can also do some changes to make it more realistic that is if we create a null object for the ground and if we scale that up like this okay and if we go to the element layer again and go to the fog and visible it and also make the fog color to grayish like okay so now you can see it look nice I mean we get the light the um, uh, lighting also correct because we have the physical shader here and which is image based lighting for this and we also get the highlight <coughs> highlight light and also the dim light here so now if we create any object inside this scene like if we just create a sphere for now and also increase the segment and the their texture we make it chrome like texture so if we change the diffuse color to black and increase the reflectivity to 100% and also go to the sphere and go to the reflection mode and change it to sphere and also alignment to bottom like this and if we hit ok or maybe we place the sphere to group number two as well and hit ok you can see the sphere also reflect the 360 degree environment and that is very seamless so now if we enable the ambient occlusion for this and change it to ray trace you can see it look nice so now we missed shadow so now we have to make a light to um, make the shadow so there is a cool trick for this to place our light exactly the same as the image sun is so because our sky is also a 3d object so we have a control for this to create this exact position to to place our sun so go to the element a layer and go to the utility and uh, select a 2d position here because there is the Sun and just click on that and if we generate it it will create a null object which have the exact same position for it so if we go to this uh, box and there is the null object that we just create to place our Sun here so go to the layer create a new light and in this case we create a spotlight for this and hit ok and now we can place the sun exact this position so go to just copy the position value for the null object to the light position as well and I just copy by ctrl C and paste it the uh, spotlight position here yeah. and our light is placed there and you can see the light also reflect from the object and now if we enable the enable the shadow 
and change it to ray trace as well and you can see it create the shadow for the object so that is so handy because we get the exact position value for the sun as well and also we get this 360 degree environment map for this so that is the trick behind the environment map so i hope you get the idea and uh, i hope you like this video too so if you like this video please check my other videos and if you like those videos please subscribe my channel so we will see in the next video so until then take care and bye bye